Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. I hope everybody's having a great week. Yes, today we are back on these steel handheld blowers. Why? Because I had one come into the shop this week and it is a really extremely common problem I see with these steel blowers, trimmers, and chainsaws. And today I'm gonna to tell you how to fix it for good. But before we get into today's video, if you're a fan of saving time, money, and frustration while fixing your own small engine equipment while watching in-depth tutorials, you've come to the right place because that's what I do. I upload a couple times a week, and if that sounds interesting, hit that like button, smash that subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. I love to read through the comments, and I will reply to all the early commenters. Now, years ago, Steel decided to create a easy start system on their machines. Now, it doesn't matter if you have a steel blower like this 56C here, or if you have a trimmer or a chainsaw, if it says C on it, you've got the easy start system. The problem is, is that whenever somebody goes to start it, you don't wrench on these like you did the old ones. And a lot of people forget about that and they go to pull on it real hard and you will destroy your easy start system. It's made to where all you gotta do is feather pull it and it will wind itself inside the rewind and it'll turn over once it gets to a certain point to where you don't have any stress on your shoulder, which is great, right? In theory. Now I'm not knocking steel for their effort because as everybody knows, steel is great equipment, but they're not the easiest to start. So when they came out with this design, it was a two spring system. You have your regular rewind spring that retracts the rope back in. And then you have your assist spring that sort of winds up and makes it to where you're not putting tension on yourself. And then it would go zoom, and it would actually turn the engine over to start. The problem is, is these springs ain't holding up. So I get tons of them into the shop with springs that look like this. And I believe that the problem is they're just not tout enough. A lot, a lot of different manufacturers have this spring assist design and the springs are way stronger. And these ones are just, as you can see it, if I'm able to do all that with it, it's gonna wear out quickly. And it's proving to be true. Let me bring you in and show you. So if you're having rewind issues, you're gonna take your rewind off. It only has three bolts holding this one onto the machine. One, two, three. And when you take it off, it's going to look something like this. Now I've put this one back together because it was sort of in an exploded state when it came in and this spring had wankered out, pushing everything up and this clip had fallen off and the dogs were falling out. So I put it back together just so I could show you what it's supposed to look like, but I'm gonna take it back apart and show you where this spring's supposed to go. To remove it, it's got this sort of butterfly clip on here and one of the legs goes straight underneath it. You'll want to pull that part out just like that and take your dogs out. Hopefully they're still in good shape. Now there was a washer. I'd already had taken that off. It goes over this shaft. You'll remove that and then this center pulley will come out. Now this is where that spring was before sitting in there like that. But once it gets wankered like that, it will push up on this top part <clears throat> and it doesn't go back together like it should. Now you would think that you should just be able to put a brand new spring in there and be going on your merry way. That's gonna fit there. You're gonna put that down. Everything should go back into place and you'd be fine and dandy. But I'm telling you guys, it's just gonna break on you again. Now, why it does this, I don't know, but I can tell you from experience of trying to do it multiple times and just putting a spring in it, putting it all back together and giving it to the customers, every single time the customer will come back to me within the first few times of using it with the same exact problem. So I didn't even know what to do with this. I, you know, I'm in the business of putting parts back where they're supposed to be and replacing things as they should. But my buddy over at Mix Mowers showed a trick last year and I have been doing it ever since. So instead of changing out another $2 spring and hoping that it's gonna last, I go ahead and change out the entire rewind pulley. And as you can see, it's a lot taller because it negates the entire spring assist system. So yeah, you're not gonna have the easy pull, but at least it's going to start. But we gotta be really careful doing this because we don't want the pull rope rewind spring to go wang on us. So we're gonna do this very carefully. So I went ahead and kept my dogs out. I put this little clip back on holding everything together so it doesn't go wang out on me. But I also don't have the spring inside right now. So I just wanna make sure that it's not going, as I try to get this rope to loosen up, it's not going to come out this way. So I'm gonna pull my pull rope out a little bit. I'm going to get it out here. And now if you want to, you can just cut this end off right here and go with it that way. It looks like it's too tight for me to be able to unround that knot. So I'm just going to snip it right here. And you can put a new pull rope in it if this one is too short, but 
Hopefully it won't be. And we're just gonna let it go back up in there. Now that we have that, we can take our clip off, take this pulley out, and now there is no tension on the spring below. Ooh, and it's still popping up there. Because we don't want that thing to come out. If that comes out, that's no fun. We'll go ahead and remove the pull rope from the old pulley. And we're going to put it into our new one. Oh, I need to burn the end. The part that I cut, I'm gonna go ahead and melt it just a little bit so I can get it at a point. And we're gonna go through the inside of the pulley to come out this way since we've got the knot on the other end, hopefully. We can get it through the hole. There we go. And we're gonna come out through the inside of the pulley. Now we got our knot back inside the center of our pulley. Once we got that, we can put this pulley back on. I'm gonna put my dogs in. Put the washer back on. That washer doesn't want to go so well. There we go. And I have a new butterfly clip. You can use your old one sometimes, but mine was a little wankered out, so I grabbed a new one. We're gonna put that on. When they're new, they're not that fun. I'm pushing down on this side right here. I'm gonna pull this center straight part over. Okay. Once you have it in place, each one of those butterfly wings will have one of the starter pulse sitting inside of it. So next we're gonna pull the rope up through this little notch that's in the pulley. And when it retracts, it goes this way. So you know we have to go clockwise with it on this one. And I'm just gonna keep turning until it's extremely tout. Be careful, cause this is where you'll hurt your fingers. Twisting and pushing down with my thumb. Oh, I think that was about it. So I'm gonna straighten this out here. Poke it on through my eyelet. And we're gonna put our handle back on. I like to use a figure eight knot. Just like that. Make sure that it's not gonna go through. And we're good to go. Sweet. As you can see, when we pull it out, those dogs come out like that, go back in. Everything's working great. At this point, we can go ahead. And as you can see, this is like a brand new blower this did it to, but. All right, so I got her all put back together. Let's see how she starts.
start second pull, super easy. I'm going to take that as a win. Huge thanks to Mix Mowers for this trick. If you haven't found his channel yet, please go over there and look. I will leave a link in the description box below. So thanks again for tuning into Chicanic. Hopefully this video saved you time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found me on Facebook, find me at facebook.com slash Chicanic. Find me at Instagram at the Real Chicanic or find me at Chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, long sleeve shirts, and see an entire list with links of all the tools I use. Thanks guys.